Alrighty, today's target is definitely one of my all time favorite fish. They're not that big, but they're heaps of fun. Kids and adults alike love catching them. And I remember the first one I ever caught, I was about six years old fishing off Tartra Wharf and I was so excited. The fish is called a garfish skinny looking little thing a bill on the bottom of its jaw people call them mini marlin they jump they do all this great stuff you only need light tackle to catch them and they're quite simple to catch you just need a couple of key elements to do it so first of all probably the most important part of the system is burley they're a surface cruising species and they get up into estuaries and offshore and do all that sort of stuff fish love to eat them just like i do but you need burley so we're going to use more of a fine burley we want it to carry a long way rather than sink down so a good option is to get something like a pellet burley like this here okay you can also get the fine brand burleys like the the bits that are left over in this bag but then from there what you do is you put into a burley pot as simple as this one here from neptune just a beautiful little container with those slots in it like that if you're off a pier or a wharf put on a rope lower it down until it's in the water all right if you're in a boat i usually just have it on about a meter of rope just hanging over the side of the boat any wave action will help the burley to get out through it if not just give it a bit of a jiggle every now and then you want like a very fine cloud to go out and as these pellets break down they just run out through the pot if you want to spice it up even more get yourself some tuna oil put some tuna oil in on those pellets soak them in that and that gives you that big slick that goes out across the surface of the water and that also helps attract the gars the great thing about gars is they are a schooling fish so generally once one turns up there's going to be more and because they're a surface feeding fish or a surface living fish we're going to use floats to catch them and floats let me tell you are i believe the best way to get kids into fishing they've got something to watch you learn about timing the strike because you're not going to feel the bite so much you're going to be sitting there watching the float that dips under the water when it dips you strike and you catch them floats come in so many different forms but for chasing garfish if we keep it nice and simple either a quill float like that so a very slender little float doesn't need a lot of the weight to suspend it it's going to sit in the water or you've got this sort of style pencil float so as you can see this one's very skinny this one's got that buoyant section here but the most important part of a float is to make sure that only this tip of it is sticking above the water then it's neutral buoyancy when the fish grabs the bait pulls it under it won't feel the float the other one which i'm going to show you when we get out on the water is this these are cool this is a burly float you actually load that up full of burly cast that out and you can even wind it in slowly or if you drop it in close you can let it drift out with the tide or the wind it's a self burlying system it works so well that one comes with a pre-made rig on it but you can do whatever you want to do the other thing you've got is little clip on bobby corks like that if you want to fish at night you can put a light stick into those guys there really handy a little bit more buoyant so good when it's rough or if you want to fish you know bigger sinkers to cast further to make this rig work this sort of stuff's very handy from there the other key elements are i would say get yourself some nice light leader just something like that four pound is heaps for garfish but the fine leader just like any form of fishing and i always say it fine leader will catch you more fish every single time four pound is absolutely perfect from there a couple of little hooks those guys there the little fine worms i love and i dropped the other pack here so i'll grab them little tiny bait holders or long shanks in anything from like a 8 10 12 sort of size the six in those is not a big hook and if they're good size gars i do like to use this one the reason that we use the small hook gars have got a small mouth we're using small baits but something with a bit of a shank to it as well makes it easy to just get the hook out because you want to catch these guys as quick as you can because they're too much fun from there the other thing you'll need is just a couple of split shot these guys here that's a different type of sinker that one squashes onto the line okay you can use a ball sinker if you want but i really like to just squash a few of these on the line and the great thing is you can put one on cast the float out if it sits a bit high put another one on you'll get it to the point you might need two three four split shot to get that float to sit just perfectly as i said with that little orange tip sticking out of the water but once you've done all of that you're pretty well ready to go and find yourself some guards the other thing you can use is a little sabiki jig just like that obviously get one with the small hooks the reason being guards have small mouth as i mentioned and when you combine a sabiki jig with a burly float and you have that hanging below it the results can be absolutely dynamite so anyhow we've got our hooks sinkers floats sabikis burly burly pot and a bit of oil it's time for us to go find some garfish <laughs>